Hello Techies, in this tutorial we will learn and understand about conditional actions. First we will see what is conditional action. A block of actions will be executed or processed based on a condition is nothing but conditional action. If you see on my screen, Power Automate Desktop providing two types of conditional actions. One is if, another one is switch. If we observe the if again internally we are having different or different types of conditional actions. One is file exist, if folder exist, if process, if service, if text on screen, if web page contain, if window contain, if image, if window. If you see, I am having the another kind of thing also if else conditions along with that else if also will find under if conditional actions in the same way switch also we are having case on default case all right if you observe if conditional actions when we are going to use if the particular statement is true or false like you know it is true or false in that case that we are going to use if case if conditional actions but when we are going to switch, the conditional allows you to execute one code of block among many alternatives if it is available. Okay, for an example, if I'm having grades of this school, in that case that I'm going to use uh, first class, second class, third class, in that case, I'm going to use switch case. All right, now what I will do, I will give you an example each of every one of the conditional action over here. First, we'll see file exists. Let's assume if I'm going to check for the file like report.excel sx file, it is exist or not. If the file exists, in that case, if it is true, then I want to do some, I want to perform some of the actions. In that case that I'm going to use, file exists. Another one, folder exists. Let assume I want to uh, check for the report folder is available or not in the particular location. At that case, I will use folder exists, if folder exists. Now, Process. If you see in the task manager that we are having a lot of process, there the notepad process is available or not. In that case, I will use if process. In the same way, service. So if you go for services.msc, there we are having a lot of services related to the software. There, if I want to check it out, the particular service is running or not. In that case, I will use if service. Next one text on screen. So for and suppose if I'm having any screen on that screen that I'm having the text or not, it's related to the OCR, optical character recognition. In that case, I will use text on screen conditional action. In the same way, web page contains, if my web page contains any kind of, uh, you know, element or the text is available, then in that case, if I need to check it out, that then I will use if page contains. In the same way, Windows also, if I am having particular UI element or not, or the particular text is available or not, in that case, I will use Windows contains. Now, we'll talk about the image. So sometimes we need to check out the particular image is available or not. In that case, we'll use if image conditional action. Now, Windows, if Windows, nothing but in my task, manager or in my taskbar, I'm having a lot of windows. If it is related to the particular window, then I will check it out if the particular window is exist or not. All right. Now we'll see else conditional action. When we will use this one? For an example, we are having true or false kind of thing like gender equal to male or gender equal to female. In that case, we're having Boolean true or false. In that case, we'll use if else condition. In the same way, that we are having multiple options like that, you know, if else, else if we'll use it. All right, now we'll talk about the switch. As I said, we are having grades, grades in the, uh, grades for the students. At that time, we are having grade A, B, C, D, and we are having default uh, case also. In that case, we are going to use switch conditional actions. I hope you understand what is conditional action and what type of conditional actions are available in Power Automate Desktop. In the next video, I will show you how to use all these conditional actions practically.